Hey guys, what's up? So, um, yeah, I have my first uh, Boker Quaken. I actually bought this for myself, and I was going to pimp it for myself. Um, and I ordered a, um, a titanium backspacer uh, from Alex. Uh, not really into doing the metal stuff, especially titanium. I don't really have uh, powerful enough equipment, which I'm working to change that. But, um, and not only that, you know, I'm, I, I like buying stuff from other pimpers. Um, you know, I can pimp stuff for myself all day long, but it doesn't quite mean as much because uh, I know that I can just do it over again. So I like getting um, stuff from other guys. So, and, um, you know, uh, no offense to Alex, I can do most of the stuff, uh, except for the metal stuff, you know, like this and titanium that he can do. So, um, you know, there's no point in me buying a pimp quaking from him when I can do it myself. But I can't do the metal stuff, so, you know, I'll uh, help support him in that, because I can't do it. Um, and I still need to get something from Tough Thumbs, um, but... Uh, wanted to get one of his custom knives and just haven't got around to doing it yet. So anyhow, uh, yeah, so I did a uh, Boker Quaken. Um, like I said, my first one, uh, like I said, I was going to get it f or do it for myself, but somebody really wanted it. And Alex hoards them all, like Tough Thumb says. So I uh, finally got one. <laughs> um, so let's see how it turned out. So the blade I did... Um, you know, kind of a, a spatter pattern. I didn't want to overkill the spatter because it's actually pretty hard to do. It's a little messy, to say the least. Uh, then I did Lightning Strike Carbon Fiber with Toxic Green Liners and a Toxic Green Gear Pattern Backspacer. Uh, that's what the customer wanted. I also did the pocket clip and the spatter randomness pattern. <laughs> uh, I also have to do him a carbon fiber backspacer as a as a backup so he can change them out if he likes. The so scales have been rounded, sanded, wet sanded, buffed, polished. I didn't bronze anything. I haven't really uh, um, practiced bronzing hardware. I need to. I need to get some cheap stuff and try it out. Uh, plus, the customer didn't request it. Uh, did the flipper mod, so you can see flipper mod and a detent mod. So it works good now. So the only thing left to do is I do have the Wicked Edge, um, but I'm waiting on some stones that were back ordered. So I'm going to try my best to do a, a mirror polish edge on it. Um, they're shipping those out this week and I should have them by the end of the week. So that's the only thing left to do. So this will probably get shipped out um, probably Monday, depending on when the stones get here. So yeah, it turned out really good. So. Um, that's my uh, that's my Boker Quaken first one, and I really like it. So uh, whenever I get enough funds to to buy myself one, then uh, I'll use Alex Titanium Backspacer that I bought. Probably anodize it blue or something, and put it in there. Sorry, Alvin, you can't have that one. <laughs> that one's mine. But this one's yours. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, this takes this knife takes a lot, especially when you're doing all this stuff, you know, detent mod, flipper mod, uh, the acid, the liners, the backspacer, the scales, you know, because I acid washed uh, and kind of stone washed the spa the liners so that they look similar. There was no really no need to do a spatter pattern on them because you wouldn't have been able to tell. But I did do acid stone wash so that they're 
kind of matching. A lot of work goes into these damn things. And Alex does a whole bunch of them. That would drive me nuts. But if you want me to do any, I can do them too. Um, I just can't do the titanium backspacers and stuff yet. But working on it, so we'll see. And um, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Um, uh, just got a Fordham rotary tool. We'll be doing a YouTube review first impressions video on that once I get it up and running um, working on updating some stuff in my shop so if you guys have anything uh, that you want done and I'm still trying to work on you know I'm gonna pimp this thing small fly and um, Ontario rat twos um, I have a paramilitary two that's gonna get pimped uh, these will all be up for sale uh, I mean you can buy them and tell me what you want on them now but uh, I plan on pimping them and selling them so that I can invest more money into the shop. So that's kind of what's going on with me. Um, also on Instagram, I kind of did uh, Bauer Blade Works. So that's the name that it's under is Bauer Blade Works. Um, I explained in my last video, which not very many people will watch. But uh, if you want to look for me on Instagram, it's Bauer Blade Works. Just in case you know I ever turn into a, doing this a lot more than just as a hobby. Uh, figured I should have a little bit better of a name than just Bauer 230. But you never know. So, that's the knife for today. Um, and hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll talk to you later.